Everybody, welcome again for the last stream of today. How's everyone doing? <laughs> Yo, Sid, we are back for episode four of Alan Wake 2. I have just loaded up on some food, so I'm nice and fueled up. And we're ready to get going. Hey there, princess! How you doing? It's been a while. What's up? I'm not sure what happened uh, last time, Drago. I don't even remember. Anyways, let's get all the intro stuff out of the way. So, for anyone who's new, and this is the first time you've seen it, uh, my name is Dean. We run a uh, long-form video essay channel over here, but we're streaming Alan Wake 2 today and for the foreseeable future because we have been waiting for it for 13 years. The only rules of the stream, no spoilers in chat, no fake spoilers, no backseating. If I need anything, I will use the secret code pineapple. That is my request to say go ahead and tell me uh, something I need. But otherwise, let's go ahead and get going on chapter four. After what happened last time, my mind needed a little bit of time to finish spinning for a couple hours. But here we are. Let's go. You're on your way to college and the whole stream. 
Oh, that sucks, dude. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the last one onto the uh, playlist. I'm going to keep it uh, not live, though. Um, I'm going to be releasing these every other day. Just so we have some content um, while I play this game. I'll have to replay it again, record all the assets, and then we can start talking about new videos related to Alan Wake. You got some new years for the past year. You've been training to be a police officer, and I'm officially out in the field. Oh, nice. Stay safe, all right? Must have taken a lot of work to go through the academy right there. All right, guys, let's get going. Find a way out of the talk show studio. We got ourselves a shoebox. Shoebox can store all of my items. Oh, wait. Wouldn't it be funny if this is the shoebox that uh, Samantha keeps finding in her attic? Um, so they're going to be, if you, right now nothing is live except for episode one. But if you go into the playlist for the Alan Wake 2 things, Benjamin, you'll be able to find it. The rest of it. If you just click on it and go through it, you'll, uh, I think the first two are, uh, you can find that right now. Right now, though. Before we go through, let's check the other side of this. And nothing there. All right. Actually, I don't know. Maybe we should just stay in this uh, other reality right here. Head up the stairs and see what happens. Sound is delayed again. Okay, well, we know a way to fix this, so... Give me a second. And we are back and it looks like the video froze again so we're gonna have to go ahead and deactivate that reactivate that and we're good nice and fixed hey there Jeff thanks so much for the donation hey how's the game so far I haven't seen anything about it yet maybe uh, wait to the beginning of the month when I get paid to get it hey dude it's going awesome I'm like if you want to wait entirely feel free I understand but we do have the uh, first couple streams from the start of the game that's already up on the channel. Anyways, take it easy if you're going to run out. Alright, let me know if this works better. Oh my, we're in the city. Noir York. I, I'm going to just call it Noir York until I'm proven wrong. The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Oh, I know that. Scratch. Scratch. Scratch, scratch. Oh god, he's everywhere. Oh dear. In between with Mr. Door. Number one in late night. I'm sure you are. It's not like your stories are any good, not like they have any artistic merit. You're a lousy writer, cheap fills, and pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. Look at me, look at your work. Oh my god, the hitchhiker has posters here. The freaking hitchhiker from the intro. Poets Cinema. Art House and Films. Yeah, I saved the last stream, Andres. I just haven't put it into the playlist. It's going through uh, copyright checks ocean view hotel the dark oh. place wouldn't let me go that way ocean view at crossroads new york oh boy the o we'll see if we get some more ocean view lore kind of really excited for that the od diner i don't know what that means 
Wheeler Street. Ah! What's up, Barry? Even though you're just a street name right now. Return. Scratch. Hard case. Hard boiled and hung over. <laughs> Alex Casey film based upon the novels Alan Wake. Yours fault. Dude, I could sp Night Springs, new season coming soon. I could literally spend like an hour just running around here. Just looking at graffiti and posters. The dark place. Let's see what we got here. Caldera Plaza, Caldera Street, Ocean Avenue, Wheeler. Draft and port. Construction zone, the talk studios. I'm in your neck of the woods. Whoops. All right, here we go. Hello? Hello, Wake? Yes. Do you know who I am? Pool. No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Sounds had I had this conversation Sounds like before? Tom. Helen, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station. The subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Yeah, it's it's gonna I'm be losing the you. uh Hello? Zane we see in Hello? control. Whether that's the real Zane or not. Subway pass. I still don't think that the dude he met in uh behind the spiral door is the real Zane. But we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Casey. Find the entrance to the subway. The man had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. No, so b based upon the voice actor, it's going to be specifically the Zane that we see in uh, AWE DLC. It's not the Zane, because the Zane we hear throughout all of Alan Wake is voiced by James McCaffrey. The one there is voiced by somebody else. Okay, we got ourselves a fountain. I don't want to be a character. I can absolutely imagine that anyone who knows is where they're trapped with it don't want it. It's always in the distance. I don't know even know where the voice is coming from. Don't write return. Let's finish looking. The Caldera Street station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. Okay. I had to make it appear. Yeah, I'm, I'll go Maybe ahead and switch Maybe I could use the second. lamp to reveal the station entrance. Illumination. There's no closing the door. I don't know if there's anything we can find other than Easter eggs. I do see a TV over there. You'll die here. I'm a writer. I write. Writing is the key. Art is the key to find my way out of the dark place. Don't you forget this. Don't you fucking forget this. I'm in the dark place. I'm outside time and space. Outside reality. But this is real. A nightmare dimension. An ocean of darkness. It Remember, it's dark energy can make art come true. Make dreams and nightmares come true. Yes, I can use this. I need to use this. Hungry, monstrous things. Stop me. To devour me. Come me. Oh, 
Oh boy. That's not good. <laughs> Even the... Because we know that uh, radios and television can broadcast information between uh, the dark place and the reality. But that's not good. Okay, looking for a way out. The angel lamp. Janitor seemed to know me, but he got the name wrong. Had I written him into existence? He said that I had left something in the basement, a tool to get out. I found the lamp and the shoebox in the basement, a tool to push the darkness away. On the second the security screens, I saw myself in the writer's room. Dark Place, New York. The Dark Place had taken the shape of New York City. I was from New York. I wrote crime books, set for there for years. I was affecting my surroundings. The mysterious caller on the payphone, I knew. Yeah, so that's going to be them. Lamp in the shoebox. Poe, this road. Alright, here we go. There are no happy endings. That's because Scratch wrote this, meaning we have to rewrite the ending. I mean, technically we did it at the end of the first game. Alright, let's go ahead and make the uh, subway appear. Ocean, we're never out of your way. Ha, that's freaking true. Because technically you can access the hotel from anywhere, really. The lamp was dead in my hand. I needed to find a light for it. Oh, I actually have to go on the other side there. Don't spread the word. Okay. Um, are you going to let me actually use this? This is the light I'm supposed to be using. Fuck. Okay, don't mind me, just passing through. Shadows stirred like there was someone there, but there was no one. Yeah. I wanted to keep it that way. Okay, is it gonna let me? Am I doing something wrong here? I mean, what other constant light sources do we have here? I mean, technically there's one way there at the end of the alleyway. Let's see if that one works. I don't even think I can get down there. Maybe I can. You lost her. No, we didn't. We did not lose her. We just have to bring a light. Okay, we have to bring a light to it. AWE! Yes, there is. 2023 Bright Falls AWE. Here we go. Nazarenos Pizzeria. Don't write. Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey. I'm looking into a murder. Come on. What? what is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it, the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? Oh great, here we go. Max Payne versus Alan Stay Wake. Here. Go. No, wait. Okay, I need good. A gun. No chance. Oh no, we're having a repeat of the kidnapper. This is not good. We have the light. He has the gun. Happened around the corner. I remember dying in this alley. 
in a dream I had. He was just gonna keep killing me here, loop by loop. You're not gonna get what you want. You think you know. You know shit. You don't really wanna know. You're gonna get what's coming to you. Oh, dear Lord. I needed his gun and flashlight to protect myself. All right, this version of Casey didn't make it. Not good. Oh, dear. Oh, same this thing here, Jeff. echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. No, red light definitely puts me in the mind of the hiss as well. Cold to the word, we're referencing that. Cold Casey. Find Alice. Initiation. So yeah, this just seems like a bunch of his stuff. Light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. Not good. Shit. With the alley in darkness now, restless shadows block my way. It's okay, I got this. Maybe not. Is this thing actually gonna hit me or is it just Okay, no. So this is this New York is gonna have shades of all of his characters from his unconscious. I mean Casey's one of them, he remembers killing him vividly. I mean we have a lot of Just protected them. I had to burn it away. I could use the right to banish the shadows. Bring it on, bring it on. Oh god, these guys are messed up! Fine. Oh my god, get up! The shadows faded out. Until they didn't. They were trying to stop me. With the gun and flashlight, I could fight back. It's hard to tell where they're at. Destroying the darkness knows the flash will reveal the way forward. Flashlight had done its job. Oh, jeez. These things do so much damage. One hit and I go from basically full health down to nothing. I could use the light to open the subway entrance now. Great. I have enemies everywhere. At least I have ammo, though. Get out of here. I already did some exploring. Um, I went through the whole area already, Cool Bond. There wasn't really much other than some uh, posters and some graffiti that are relevant. More don't write. Cult of the word. Die here. I mean, I thought we were trying to go down to the subway. I guess we're just crossing everything. Night Springs, new season. Hell yes. It's a cold day in hell. Cold case. Cold case based upon the novels. I got another one right here. 
I don't know what which ones are real and which ones aren't. That's actually what's nerve wracking because I don't know which ones will attack me and which ones are there just to scare me. This definitely feels like I'm playing through a Max Payne game right now, which is the dark, dingy New York streets. Are you real or not? This is... Oh, dude, this makes me really fucking tense. What does that say? Words. Lamp, words, lamp. Words of lamp, words of lamp. There was something hidden here. Light would reveal it. I've already done that. A phrase repeated over and over. Oh, geez, I just wasted the some words batteries. words resonated with meeting. Had I written this? Words of power. Words of lamp. Restores 5% maximum health when using the flashlight. Oh, okay, so this is how we upgrade him. And then the headlights provides 10% chance to stun enemies. Provides 25% chance to regain a flashlight charge after killing an enemy. Actually, I think this probably is the best. Mostly because I'm running out of health quite often during this whole thing. Okay, so we have to find words of uh, lamp to get our upgrades rather than the manuscript or the uh, manuscript fragments. Okay, I think we missed that one spot over here. I didn't go inside the building. There's Alice. Someone was humming. Was it worth the risk to go see who? Yes. But after I look inside here first. Oh, safe room. Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna... Why would I store anything in the shoebox? Oh. Trauma pad. heal up real quick. Okay, so that was just a save room. Hey there, Break, how you doing? Hello. Oh. Oh! Hey, Alan. Hi. You snuck up on me. What are you doing here? Breaker, um, Jack, what are you doing here? <laughs> well, that's my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. Don't judge me. I'll trade you walls any day. Remember, I was at the morgue. I was about to give the evidence to the FBI. Door transported me here to this dream. Reality, why? Who, where, why? Motive, why me? The red-headed woman. Me, but not me. Oh, dear lord. The red-headed woman. Who? Jesse? Me, but not me. Others. I know, yet they are different. Facts. Missing time, no memory. Dreams, aliens, UFOs abducted until now. I've always ended. Have I always ended up here? Door, will I forget when I get out? Polyhedrons. Oh, Jesus.
Oh, dear. Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map, if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. You're making a map? Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light. But never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Warland Dor. The talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. No, that's definitely... That's definitely Dor. So, is this kind of like the shared dream state that Alan and Clay Stewart had for a while? Where sometimes Alan would remember him, sometimes Clay would remember him, sometimes they didn't remember each other. They'd, they'd constantly be going back in and out of it. We've already done that at the end of Wheeler Street. New York is shifting. Well, this is more like an, uh, how a dream shifts around than anything else. Echo? Echo, point of interest, echo. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go start messing around here. Um, but why, when Nightingale arose, did you get taken or teleported here? Hey there, Nathan. Um, See you around, Alan. I don't know how to feel about that right now, to be 100% honest. Yes, please. Flares, flares, health, ammo, duct tape. You always want the duct tape. So we got you. Now let's see if we can find that. I think I've already gotten that echo. But there's another echo over here in the street. Yeah. Nah, I I'm good right now. No need for any hints. I'm just exploring around. So that's that. Stay in the alley first. Ooh, I like my decision. Absolutely nothing in there, though. Beautiful. Okay, we got ourselves a shortcut. So that's going to be a light over there. There is some mystery stuff back there. Let's run over to the talk show and check out that question mark real quick. Try to avoid as many enemies as possible. These guys are weird because it's you don't know which ones are actually going to hit you, which ones are there just to taunt you. So I seriously want to 
just avoid them all, just walk right past them, but some of them are going to smack me upside the head and take all my health in one go every now and then. Increase maximum health, increase maximum amount of health restored in safe havens. Actually, that's really good. Um, restore 60% of max health when a new ward of power is discovered. That's probably going to be our best bet right there, to be 100% honest. Because then anytime we go to a safe room, we can heal ourselves and we don't have to use our health resources as, much, as often, which is really good. That's really, really good. They attack you if you're in the right way. Okay. I'm going to try to just ignore them as much as I can if that's the case. Yeah, it seems like some are taken and some are not. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, Alloy's this way. Vision TV shop. I mean, everything in this area should be taken as absolutely relevant to Alan's head. Because this is his dream. Slash nightmare. Just, just ignore me. No one sees me here. No one sees anything. Casey is missing. And this didn't used to be open. Okay, well, I guess this changed. Got it. Beautiful. I'm just going to max that out. That's our best bet right there for long-term survival. Got another one here? Oh, no. It's sending us in a spiral. Alright, thank you, game. We literally have a closed loop right there. That's great. I already got the word, uh, Andres. That's what I just picked up. So we got looks like we got two more here and here, and then whatever that echo is, and then something all the way over here. And the Uzumaki. Don't look at me! I'm not here. No one sees me. Seriously, okay, guys, I, until, again, I'm until improvement otherwise, I'm just going to call this Noir York. Because at the end of the day, that's exactly what Noir York was. It's just a dark reflection of New York. And this kind of fits the bill, even if they don't call it that. Um, sorry, Drake, I'm not really looking at chat too much um, during this. Well, in terms of the shades versus, like, shaded into the... Oh, jeez! That one's real. Can't see anything! Can't, can't see shit. 
shaded individuals and uh, taken are the same thing. It's just the uh, FBC calls one one thing and the other the other. It's just different terminology. Yeah, I'm going to keep maxing that out because that's way better. The more we uh, conserve our resources, 100% it's going to be better. Please don't tell me you're real. Stay away from me. There we go. This is really particular. There we go. Words of power, there we go. Words of action. Increased damage dealt to enemies in close proximity. Makes Alan 20% harder for enemies to detect. Decreases damage received from dark projectiles. I haven't really seen that. Honestly, that's probably better to not even engage in fights. That's probably a superior tactic rather than... Because with Survival Horrors, really what you want to do is conserve resources as much as possible. So all of everything I'm specking in right now goes down to conserving resources. So when the difficult battles happen, we have everything. All right, Sammy, I'll let you out. Dog wanted to go outside. Okay, so let's see. We got two more of them. One here, one here, two echoes, and whatever the hell that is. And then let's go back to uh, Breaker and see what he has to say from there. I needed to find a way around that fence. Oh, do we? Okay, fair enough. Oh, I think we just found our way around the fence. Let's go. I think I need to get closer, which means I think I need to take the light and then head over there. Great. That's probably going to remove the thing right there. Nope, that did not remove that thing right there. Okay, never mind. Okay. Light there. Light shift inactive. So there's another light shift somewhere here. Where, though? That one. Okay. Well, let's see what happens if we use that one. See how that did anything. I didn't see any shifts from that. Okay, let's go across here and see if we can find a way down. Yeah, I, I saw that, that there's suns on the map. Just the one, two, the third one here down here at the bottom, which opens and closes this. What? Maybe those little dotted line, those little dotted sections, are what changes. I didn't see anything, but I'll give it another shot. Ah, there we go. 
don't write AW. I don't know if I want to go down into here yet, because there's still stuff. There's still those uh, level up stuff so that we can get over here. So let's pause. Sorry, guys. I, I'm just literally walking back and forth and flipping lights around, but I'm just ex examining my environment. Only thing I say is I wish he would run faster. Granted, he does have the stamina now. He doesn't run out of stamina, but he's a lot slower. The streets of New York is not that filthy. <laughs> Weak. I must oh my god, guys, stop trying to mess with me. What does it mean, Echo? What does Echo mean? So I'm standing right where it's... I had written books about Alex Casey for years. Something lingered here. A line from a half-forgotten story. There's something here. I just don't know what it is. ladder down is probably going to be over here somewhere. Wait. Looks like it's on the side of the stairwell. I guess I missed it. I don't see anything on the stairwell here. No, that's not it. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Outside? I did look on the side outside! Like, literally, I was looking on both sides of it and didn't see anything. Yeah, pull to the word. I noticed that. There's nothing over there. Looked over here, nothing on that side. Yeah. Nothing there. Yeah, I have no clue either. It's not a big deal. When I do my second playthrough, I'll be getting everything. echo by approaching it from a specific angle. Oh, what? What do you mean a line echo? Okay, I'm just going to say pineapple here. How do I activate this? Because I'm really confused.
Yeah, this is like a sinuous sacrifice puzzle, but I don't... At least on that one, you knew what you were looking for. Or this, I have no clue. Go back. Well, I, I got that, but that doesn't tell me anything. Oh, there. You said he was a monster, poised to tear into you the second you let your guard down. You thought you had it tamed, that you knew what the hell you were doing. Your last mistake, unless you got lucky. And you didn't deserve to get lucky. You blinked at the wrong time, let your mind wander. And the fire escape that was meant to be your getaway route was gone was never there at all. You'd gotten turned around somewhere along the way. The city was coming to finish you off, and there was nowhere left to run. Well, that was that one. Now we need this one right here. Quick. Okay, well, let's head back down and see if we can find it. Yeah, I just wasn't sure what specifically I was looking for. Now that I see that, I can kind of work with it. So this feels like full-blown just... Oh, here's another one of those. Oops. Because that right there is the door that I took to get here. Oh, Jesus! I need to find the angle to view that. Because that's the one I'm trying to get covered right now. But I'm not seeing the dark moon. Maybe it's further down this way? Let's go all the way down and see if we can see it from the streets right there. Yeah, because all of the areas here are kind of like a weird la nightmare labyrinth, but it seems like Alex Casey in this setting thinks... Wait. Do I need to line that up with that? With one eye with the other? I think that's what I need to do right there. Yeah, I got the blue spots on it. I'm just trying to see where I need to move it. Hold on, there's a ladder over here. Maybe that's where I need to go. Sorry, this whole area is just really confusing me. How it's structured. There. The rain tried to wash away the sins of this city. <laughs> but some sins, the evidence the crimes committed, could never be erased. Not by the rain, or any amount of therapy from Dr. Jack Daniels. It remained bruises under my skin like tattoos, bruises in my soul, scar tissue on my heart. The rain never stopped falling, and I never stopped drinking.
Yeah, this feels j like Max Payne slash Alex Casey just happened to be dropped into an Alan's Nightmare Realities and what would happen and how it played out. So in a weird way, we are getting somewhat of a crossover if you think about it like that, but... Yeah, because th that's the door I just went through. Okay. Okay. So that, we need to get to the other side. But then over here, we have two sets of ladders going down. All right, let's get through this. Yeah, James McCaffrey's voice, I can... Oh, oh, oh. I can listen to that forever. Okay, let's see where this one takes us out through. And that is here. Okay. So somewhere over here is where that's going to be. That's a shortcut back to the main line. Okay. So we got another one of the words of power over here somewhere. And I'm presuming this ladder's gonna take me to it. Perfect. There we go. Um, ah. So it's somewhere in this area. Can I push? No, we can't push things in these games. seeing anything here. I almost want to just, like, break through the windows here and see what happens. It's upstairs even further. Okay, let's see if we can find a secondary ladder. have that over there. Okay, well at the very least I can look at this stuff real quick. Oh, is that the phone I have to answer? Let's not do that just yet. saying it is up here triggered a ward yeah that's not good but I need it to get that uh, thing of power that those words of power yeah I followed this where's the comment hold on just follow the first arrows and it's over the balcony I'm not seeing what you're saying whatsoever. 
Yeah, I have no clue. Let me just go ahead and take care of that, uh, this real quick so I can get that one. Because either way, I think we're going to have to fight that horde to be able to get Horde of Power. I'll just take my time with this one. Now that I know for a fact they're going to attack me. Fuck me. I might just have to drop the difficulty because <laughs> I have not figured out how this combat functions. Oh yeah, I completely forgot I have flares. Well, it's not about running, because I need to get inside there to get the Word of Power. Fuck me. Since, okay, I'm just gonna say this and I'm probably gonna get roasted. When did they make Alan Wake freaking Dark Souls? Because that's like, that's the gameplay I'm gonna have to get used to. There. It's all about the dodging. Come on, come on. Got it. Okay, word of gun. Uh, five, provides 5% five chance to not consume ammo. That's actually really cool. Increases knockback force of the shotgun. Don't care. Flare gun projectiles uh, area effect by 25%. I mean, as much as I'd say that's really cool that sometimes you don't consume uh, ammo, it's not really gonna help if you... Like, 15% is, is essentially never. So let's go with knockback. Words of War. Full stop. Increases damage dealt by the last bullet in the chamber by 25%. That's actually pretty good. Increases double damage shotgun damage when hitting in multiple area enemies with one shot. Don't care. Restores 3% of max health when landing a direct hit with a flare gun. Actually pretty nice, but let's go full stop. Unless my chronic reload syndrome becomes an issue. Because I do have chronic reload syndrome. <laughs> So now let's figure out what the hell that thing was. Let's see what happens if I remove the light and then go look at it. Nothing. 
Oh god. Return it, return it, return it, return it. We're good. Yeah, but it's... Oh, that's not where that thingy is. Never mind. The mystery box is over here. What is the question mark over here? There. Beautiful. I need all that ammo. Is that all of it? That's all of it. Alrighties, we can actually continue onwards with the story now. <laughs> Alright, we can continue on with the plot now that we've done looting everything. Okay, so we're gonna turn right through there and through up the spike stairs in there. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Behold the words of gun. <laughs> Basically it. Okay, let's go talk to uh, Breaker again and see what happens. Hello again. I guess you're covering that. Okay, now we gotta figure out what we have to do then, since he's not going to talk to me. Warland Dorn. What does Warland mean? Hold on. Okay, so according to um, some stuff that I'm just finding on here, Warlin, uh, the name Warlin is of African origin and means war. It just means war. Interesting. Okay. I guess now we can head down into the subway station. So the second time I play through this whole area, it's going to go a lot faster because I know what I'm doing. There we go. Warland means Martin, but with just enough letter change to not give Microsoft lawyer, uh, lawyers ammo. Honestly, that would make sense, because Warland, if you look at it, changing two letters, it's basically Martin. Ah, that, that's very fair. I needed to find another light to go deeper inside. Don't sleep. Don't sleep street and avenue. Again, avenue. Don't sleep again, avenue. Identity theft is on the rise. You may not be the only you out there. <laughs> Multiple Allen theory is continuing. Okay, so I need to get some light and throw that down there. Okay. 
So where am I going to get light? I'm in a qual uh, quality mode. Or no, performance mode. Because I lose some frames if I'm in performance mode or a quality mode. Yeah! You know what I mean. So the graphics can get better, but I'm choosing not to. There's the car. Oh god, no. Are you serious? It's gonna make me grab that from the car then run all the way here? Oh dear lord, that terrifies me. No, I did not unlock the shortcut, unfortunately. So let's go do that. Shit. I have run across this so many times. I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now. This is probably the slowest episode for us to, for anyone to watch me play this. definitely a maze. I'm just not thinking about picking up the shortcuts when I'm there. I probably should have done that rather than just walk away from it. that, open up the whole thing, then grab this and run. So now I can move you and toss you over there. And then we're grabbing that and running the shit away. I mean, technically, I could probably drop a flare and then use that to uh, run, but we'll see if we can make it without doing that. Run! Just go! Just freaking go! No one saw this. No one saw anything. You see nothing! Nothing! Alright, we're good. We good! Yeah, considering how few flares we have, we've only gotten like two of them. I'm not gonna mess with that. Ah, much better. Stop riding Boulevard. Stop riding Wake. Okay, we got more of those on the wall there. The gates to the platform were closed. I had a ticket. Hey there, please pay the fare. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. A half-forgotten memory. An echo. There it is. An FBI agent had come here before me on the trail of a murder cult. He'd gone missing, presumed dead. The cult was leaving me clues to follow, connecting the dots from one murder to the next, inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. I had a location. I had a story thread. I would put them together, write them into my story to create a path deeper into the dark place. Okay.
things clicked into place. The story rang true. I was making progress. The dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. Hmm. Why do we have some frickin' tonfos here? And why are they bloody? And why is there a shadowy Bigfoot on the wall right there? The Fed had glimpsed into the Maw of Darkness. It swallowed him whole. Okay. So the prior uh, FBI agent came here, got killed, and Casey got uh, sent out. Okay. No, this is a completely different Casey, guys. This is not the Casey from uh, the start of the game that's hanging out with uh, Saga. It could not be opened on the side. Again, you can write multiple stories that conflict with one another about the same character. I mean, if using modern, uh, like, current thought patterns, like, let's just use, um, like, fan fiction, for example. The character in the fan fiction, even though they have the same name, they have the same backstory as the real character, it's not the same person. It's not the same character. Like, adaptations between books to film, like, uh, comics to the films as well. Completely different. Same thing here. Different Casey's. And the one in his books is also a different Casey. Can I get in there? I'm gonna have to do it from the outside, aren't I? How do I do this? Subway map undiscovered. I'll see if I can find it. Come on. Let me do this. There we go. Beautiful. Let's see if I can find the map. There's probably a map that I missed up the front here. All right, two seconds, guys. I'm going to do a quick bathroom break. I will be right back.
Alrighties, we are back. Sorry for the delay. Let's get going. Where is the map? How to read this map? You can't because it's broken. Where? Maybe this one? Let's see if we can read it if the lights are different. No, we cannot. Darn it. Hmm. Maybe there is one that is readable somewhere. Well, you know what? Maps are for suckers. Let's go. It's jumbled. It looks like it was something was double printed on top of it. Or like printed backwards and upside down. You see what I mean? Like it's all funky. AWE. The tracks led into the tunnel. That was my way forward. In the horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can never be an explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest. Where would you guys place a nightmare or a, a dream world like this? Because obviously, Alan spends way too much time writing Alex Casey novels when he was younger, so New York is kind of in the back of his head at all times. Here's what you guys will the think blood of. trail continued deeper into darkness. Following the no typical nightmare pattern. <laughs> Initiation. Oh great, red lights. Not red lights. Shoot. We're probably gonna have to walk down this alley. <laughs> Let's just, you know what? I give up. It's fine. Let's just go this way. You'd be there too, because you're in New York. I mean, for me, it's always probably something like my school, because I know that place inside and out. Oh, Jesus. Shit. I don't like the sound of that. Uh, me neither. Still don't need the shoebox for anything. Deputy Mulligan tuned out Thornton's chatter. He didn't think riders were particularly useful people and had a huge manhunt. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is a line from a manuscript in the original game. Talking about uh, Nightingale. There we go! Got ourselves a subway. So, light, coffee, shoebox, break room. Teleports between each of the sections. So, let's go. The tunnels were a maze. The blood trail led me on. Oh. Okay, I'm glad I looked behind me. Is there something out outside one of these windows? So how do I get over there? Shh. Items on map is lazy. <laughs> okay, so. That's going to take me here. How do I get over to this area? It looks like there's another one of those words. Actually, I think I do have a words of power that I haven't used yet. Word of gun. Increases knockback force balance shotgun. Let's do one more of these, then we'll work on um, the flare gun.
Okay, yeah, there's nothing we can do in here. So yeah, a lot of the signs here are just excerpts from the first game. I don't know why I'm having Roscoe Street Station vibes right now from Max Payne 1. Okay, we have a light right there. That's how we're going to get over there. Okay, we need a light to bring over to this area. Gotcha, okay. Your nanny's? Your nanny's house? Gotcha. I mean, one could make the argument that the mine palace that uh, Saga uses is kind of similar to this. Except Alan's using the entirety of New York, or at least a section of New York. I think that's where we're going to need it. Collapse tunnel. Another place to use in this story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. Found a new scene, go to the plot board, okay? The new scene I had found was important for the story. This is where the agent's trail went cold, a ghost. I had changed the story, and with that, the dark place changed. The federal agent had come here looking for answers. All he found was a fate worse than death. Okay, so that did not take me where I needed to go, but I need do need to head back there with light as soon as I find it. It's bad luck to be on his case. The cold can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. Let the day shift handle it. What happened, anyway? Some fed came looking for the cold, but it was a trap. A satanic blood sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake. Their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. Look here first. Ooh, give me them painkillers. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Let's do more of that. All right, well, let's see what happens. Another echo lingered here, a source of inspiration. No, I need to go back there. Whatever. Your research can help me, ma'am. What do you know? There's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word. The murder cult used these tunnels for That's their Booker. ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. That Wake was even involved somehow under a false identity. Mr. Scratch, which is, of course, a nickname for the devil himself. Yeah. It was disturbing finding myself in the story this way. But I was desperate. And it felt right for the story. Okay, so... Now, we don't really know what happened in all of the Alex Casey books. I'm gathering from all everything we're getting here that one of them had to do with ritual cult sacrifice in New York. That's what I'm gathering from all of this. And now he's repurposing that for other reasons. 
awake. Alright, hold on. Let me see if I can find another light source. Honestly, if I can grab it from the other side of this, that'd be the best case scenario. But I don't think it's gonna let me. Like if I, if yeah, it's too far away. I had a new beat for the story. I was making my way deeper into the story. I could imagine this murder cult performing their macabre acts beyond the collapsed tunnel. The cultists laid the Casey novel onto the altar with reverence. Their twisted Bible. Isn't it just kind of a little bit weird that Alan's making this whole thing up based upon a group of people worshipping his books? Little conceited, wouldn't you say? Interesting. I guess I'm not going to be getting that one. How much I can do about it right now. Jesus! Not good. Let me up. Let me up. Yeah, for Leroy, you have to look at it and find them in the playlist itself. They're not made, they haven't been made live yet. Those VODs are not live. Okay, I'm gonna have to redo that. Guys, uh, I'm just gonna say this. No shame here. I'm just gonna alter this. I, I don't want to be dying nonstop and it's gonna artificially elongate the uh, playtime. I'll play through it on nightmare mode once I get the opportunity. Another place to use in the story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. The plot element I found would drive the story forward. Yeah, because if I die every single time, story. And with Every that, the dark time. place changed. The federal agent had come here looking for answers. All he found was a fate worse than death. It's bad luck to be on this case. The cult can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. Let the day shift handle it. What happened, anyway? Some fed came looking for the cult, but it was a trap. No, I think only has unique Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake, their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. Oh yeah, we had to go we have to go to the other one. Hold on. Another echo lingered here. A source of inspiration. Word is your research can help me, ma'am. What do I'm you doing know? pretty good. There's oh, more than oh you're talking to a not bro. Cult of the word. The murder cult used these tunnels. I'm doing okay, sacrifices. I'm a little tired. They say the cult? Reenacted the murders in Alan I've Wake's been on, basically. The Wake was even involved somehow, under a false identity, Mr. Scratch, which is, of course, a nickname for the devil himself. Oh, it was disturbing Scratch. finding myself in the story this way, but I was desperate. 
and it felt right for the story. I had a new idea. Story thread. Changing a plot element in a scene without being there was impossible. Ouch. Fine. Let's walk through this door. And then we'll do this. I was making my way deeper into the story. I could imagine this murder cult performing their macabre acts beyond the collapsed tunnel. The cultists laid the Casey novel onto the altar with reverence. Their twisted Bible. Oh yeah, I didn't go into here this time. I have plenty of ammo right now, so I feel fine. This is my Dude, it's still one hit KO with me. What the crap? Let's go to the save point real quick. Get some health. And I think I actually have the light this time, so I'll be able to go down there and grab it. Grab the uh, thingy I was missing. There we go. Yeah, these the enemies are way more difficult than the first game. But it's mostly the because water was gone. they kind of one-hit KO you. The way forward was open. So this is the way forward, which means I don't want to go this direction. But I think they opened up the area behind us at the end of this train. So I can actually look at it this time. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Words of aid. Ooh, increases uh, hand flares area of effect. Don't need it. Increases effectiveness of trauma pads. That's actually nice. Increases effect duration of painkillers for one second. Let's go health first, and then we're gonna go to the flare. Cause the flare seems like a good, uh, decent thing as well. Not sure if there's anything down here. Nope. It was locked from the other side. Yeah, this is gonna be our shortcut when we come back around. Okay. Let's go on with the story now that we're done running around in circles. Yeah, it's exactly. Scratch basically redesigned all the enemies to just tell Alan to get good. That's exactly what happened here. They got sick and tired of Alan being able to take on like 50 guys at once. A couple flashbangs, boom, done. 
cult of the words. Night Springs doesn't exist. It's a fictional town from TV show I used to work on. Yep, the old oil derricks. Now we're getting into American nightmare levels of stuff. Okay. Help keep the subway clean. Yeah, that's stuff from uh, manuscripts in American Nightmare. Painkillers. So, question, what do painkillers do? Pain medication restores a small amount of health quickly and replenishes additional health over time. Oh! So it's a freaking hot heal. It's like a short burst and a hot heal. Okay. That's nice. Shrine Street platform, Night Springs. Wake! No, no, no. Okay, that's the way I'm supposed to go. Let's head up the stairs. Ah, another breaker area. Hey, Alan. Tim Breaker. In case you don't remember again. I know, Tim. I'm remembering more now. It's good to hear, man. How's your search for Mr. Door going? It's not great. This dream we're in. Putting a lot of Roblox in my way. So you think this is a dream? I'm not ruling it out. You know, my dreams have always been incredibly vivid. Oh, okay. They feel real until the second I wake up. You know, in the dreams, I'm often someone else. A different person with a different name, living a different life in, in a different world. Oh! Alternate realities, maybe. Oh! But certain things don't change. Like door. Is this how they're connecting Quantum Break? So in his dream, Quantum Break is just this dude's flipping dream where he thinks he's Jack Joyce. And because he knows Alan, he's bringing those echoes into the world of Quantum Break. And he brings, so Mr. Door is the original version of it, but he brings in Martin Hatch to play the role of Mr. Door into it. And Remedy kept trying to tell us that freaking Quantum Break, oh, it's not part of the Remedy Connected Universe. Now, it obviously fucking is. But there, this conversation, that, that one line of dialogue makes it so vague and abstract that they can get around the IP issues of Microsoft to basically say, yeah, this is what's going on with that. I still want a Quantum Break 2, though. They, yeah, they can't canonize it legally, but at least this way it's still f effectively working. If you, and if they find a way to tell us that Mac, how Max Payne links in, I think the Max Payne thing is going to happen during the remakes rather than in this game. But if they pull that here too, it's... Oh. Oh, dude. Dude, holy... So, this guy's basically a pure utilitarian then because he has those vivid dreams. Like, there's a lot of um, characters that have these types of dreams, but not to this extent. Okay, hold on. Notes. Yeah. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Okay, I'm back. The sketch you have does look like the door I know. The talk show host. All I know is the door has something to do with what's happening to me. And he knows that I know. He's like some sadistic mastermind torturing me. But then there's also the alternate version of this where this Tim Breaker is actually... Okay. Are we men dreaming we're butterflies or butterflies dreaming we're men situation? 
I mean, it's also entirely possible that the t that Jack Joyce is the origin point, and that he's dreaming himself as Tim Breaker in this reality. That's also equally as true. Like, there's really no way to know one way or another, and frankly, it doesn't really matter. Like, we don't know how shifters work, because they never really described just what happens with shifters once they're in that infinite state. I mean, we know a Dr. Kim was one, but he kind of was just a chrono disrupted wave function stuck in a cage. Martin Hatch knew what was going on and was looking to create a new world. Paul went insane, and then Jack was starting to move in those directions. I mean, we still could potentially... Th that brings a whole nother question, what's going on with Shifter Beth? Because remember, the, 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 it's very likely that during the uh, Ground Zero incident where the CFR exploded, that Beth was also made into a Shifter, and if that's the case, then one of her alt realities, one of her dream states is Jesse. No, 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 Beth and Jesse, because it's the same actors. Remember, it's Courtney Hope for both characters, just like uh, Sean Ashmore's playing both characters here. Uh, I've seen no evidence that Hartman is a shifter in any way, uh, Ramon. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, hold on. Headphones going back on. This is exactly what I needed, because I was getting low energy, and now I'm fired up again. What is this place? A dream feels like it. Not real. No place. Every place. All places. Any place. Not New York. Not New York City. A way to other places. A nexus. Is Dor trying... Is Dor the gatekeeper trying to get somewhere everywhere? Door, gate, portal, port, open, access, window... They say everything but Hatch for a very specific reason here. They say door, gate, portal, port, opening, access, window, but not Hatch. For legal reasons. Oh dear. Well, because the Ocean View is a dream reality that connects uh, universes. God. So we got one, two, three, one up here, one in the middle section here. Oh, jeez. There's one we missed over here as well. We'll get that on the way back out. <laughs> oh dear. Honestly, I would almost argue. Okay, look. Sorry, I'm going to pause it here again. Something. I would almost argue that it's not quote unquote Tim Breaker that's the root of this entire experience, dreaming himself in other realities. I would almost argue it's Jack who is dreaming himself in other realities only because. We see Tim completely just vanish into thin air in the morgue after Nightingale gets up. Meaning, he probably got killed along with the other cop that was in the sheriff's station, and that woke him up from the dream, and he reverted back, but now he's back into it, and he came back in once he fell back asleep, quote-unquote. Because that would explain why he disappeared. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. We're getting going again. Jesus Christ, guys. That's probably the most important thing that's happened in this episode. Hands down. Still not 
not finding where the little words of power are over here. know if that song is anything specific that he's humming. Because it feels like it should be in the small room here. Because I don't see any of the yellow arrows. Maybe there's a way around it. Yeah, like, if that's the case on this, that literally redefines how the entire RCU functions. Just saying. That literally redefines all of this. I thought I already got that question mark. Because I didn't die again, did I? Great, now I'm going to run around and do another 100%. It's going to take another half an hour of me running in circles. Hey there, Axel. You just missed... <laughs> <laughs> A huge WTF moment. Holy crap. attack me. You didn't see anything. You saw nothing. Wait, hold on. What the crap? I thought I already got this one. Didn't I already get this one? Is it glitched or something? So why is it still showing it's here? I'm really confused, guys. I don't know what's happening in life anymore. It almost feels like if we don't look at them, they don't attack us. Because that one started surging at me, but I kind of turned my back to it and it was fine. I don't know. It's fine. We don't need 100% the game. I'd love to 100% the game the first time around, but I don't think it's going to happen anyways, so let's just keep going. Ever felt lost, confused, stuck in a loop? It's time to wake up. 3 p.m. Okay, sorry, I'm pausing here because I'm trying to remember what time all the clocks were stuck at previously. I think it was right before this, like 10 minutes before 3. I don't remember, though. Alan Wake. One 
torture. I think I'm getting a little bit better at this. Little by little. I mean, I'm probably going to do exactly what I did with uh, Evil Within 2, is I don't really ever go to max health, because it's there's really no point to it. figured it, it's kind of sad though because he's in, essentially manufacturing another version of Casey just to use him and most likely he's gonna be killed off you need help good luck thank you the train blocked my way forward but it was here for a reason it had a role to play okay we'll talk about that in a second for now, let me get one of these. Wake. Oh god. Draw Jesus, that can start me. You guys see it over here? I'm guessing it's on this side then. ORF 22 doesn't mean anything to me. I was sure I had the answer on the plot board. I mean, like, if you think about it, is this any different than us, like, making stories in our head and using them for our own entertainment? Just because in our, when we make stories in our heads, we don't actually notice. They don't, we don't actually meet these people. We don't see them in the real world. I'm not seeing anything over I here, I had guys. to keep working on the story. Maybe it'll show up if I change the scene right here. Oh, there's a bug that still shows things if you've already collected it. That sucks. Okay. I had found another compelling location to use. underneath. Oh no, that's where I came up. No, it's not going to just show up now. Eh, I'm not going that direction. Yeah, I'm still not seeing it. Darn, where the hell did it show up? It's not showing up at all. Most likely it's going to be the murder cult we have to use, but I just wanted to try everything. 
Hello? Anyone there? Dead. Someone came up here to try to pry open this. Alright, let's try the other one. The scene changed with the story. Great. Oh, what the shit was that? My chronic reload syndrome is gonna kill me. I'm not gonna get the benefit of the uh, final shot. Because I get 25% increase in damage if it's the final round, but I never go to the final round. So it's probably wasted. something on the there's a thing on the right there's that and there's some stuff on the left Tiffany Mulligan turned yeah Come on, ma'am. this is where the history of the cult gets genuinely disturbing the cultists track down the torchbearers living in the tunnels they lock the poor folks up in a derailed subway car doused it in gasoline yeah charming it turns into a bit of a ghost story after that. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnel searching for new victims to devour. There are no happy endings in this city. I don't like that. The story, story thread felt important. I could use it in one of the scenes I found. That little thingy means there's a chest here that I can open up, but I cannot find where that chest is. It could not be opened on this side. The cult poured the gasoline over the train car. An iron cage that would soon become a coffin. The new story beat fit the story perfectly. Torchbearers. Warriors, torchbearers, come redeem our dreams. Shine a night upon the side of other schemes. But it worked. The subway car had become a burnt husk. I could get through it now. Father Thor, bless this war between the dark and light. Yeah, I'll, I'll add the third one in there afterwards. Like, what I wanted to do was just release these, like, every other day. Because, let's be honest, I'm not going to be releasing actual content for a while because I'll be spending a lot of time playing this game. So I wanted to use these streams as content, but... <coughs> shit. So they're going to be unlisted for the time being, but I'll be making them live every other day. Let's not go through that again. Unlock that, and now we never have to deal with that again. 
At the oil derrick, yep. I just stepped outside of Catch Breath of Fresh Air and let me tell you the weather's good. Ah, oh, it's Pat Mane! Something from Pat, okay. That's cool. Um, Andres, basically the implication that I'm getting is that it was part of one of Alan's Alex Casey books and then there were some real life copycat killers who went and did it for real. But what's going on here is in the dark place, so it's a fictional reality. Okay, I'm having a really hard time finding any of these. Like, anywhere. I'm gonna be really underleveled. Cause I can't, can't find shit. And I don't wanna just get in the habit of running away from all of the upgrades. I can't really move that. Maybe it's above us? I can shoot it? Really? Oh! Okay, well, I'm get. I did not know you can do that. Let's, let's backtrack real quick, because there was one I couldn't find over here. That might be why I couldn't find it. Thank you. I appreciate that, uh, Yakov. Or maybe I can use, like, my uh, melee weapon so I don't have to waste ammo. No, I'm still not finding anything. Nope, still not finding it. Okay, whatever, let's get going. Actually, let's look on the ceiling right here. It might be on the ceiling. Because they did have one that went across the uh, joists. There we go. I can figure this out on the plot board. Oh my god. Thank you. I swear I was looking at the ceiling there too. Alright. Words of action. Um, yeah, detection. I like that. I really like the anti-detection stuff right there. Um... I like that, too. Alright, let's get out of here. It gets real juicy later. Dude, it got real juicy this episode. Holy shite. Holy shite. Okay, so we got you, 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 and you. There is uh, a chest we can open, but I cannot find it, so let's ignore that for now. Oh, 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 I almost guarantee it's going to get better, Drake. Well, better is a subjective term. I would say there's more. It would be the more accurate. Shit, 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 shit. I'm out. I don't have any. I don't have any more. Can't see anything. Uh, get away from me! Can't see anything? Like I legitimately just cannot see shit. Now 
now, how far back is that going to send me? Because if it sends me all the way back, like a half an hour of gameplay, I'm... Mm. I'm going to be annoyed. Okay, it's not that bad. Okay, I do have to use that. Honestly, setting it to normal doesn't really feel like it did much. They're still two-shotting me. Head back. I was sure the plot board had the pieces I needed. I wonder what happens if we would backtrack all the way to the previous uh, scene and then added the new torchbearers thing there. Oh yeah, the train where uh, the uh, um. Eagle Limited AWE, where the uh, train remembers the deaths of everyone on, on it. No, 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 don't look at me, don't look at me. Flashbang? Oh, Jesus! Stop it! Dead. So, what I will say is we probably should get a lock-on feature. If this is how the gameplay is going to be, we should probably get some form of lock-on feature. Just saying. Yes. More health at safe havens. Yes, please. Especially when they dash around you so rapidly, you really can't see where they move to. Cash no booth. Well, we've already seen uh, the old gods in the game. They showed up in the last stream. Maybe I had missed something on the plot board. You didn't miss anything. I don't think you missed anything, Alan. Chill out. Oh. Hinted? Hunted. My path was blocked. I had to find a way through. The lights would help me. Oh, thank God. Give me that save point. Okay, where am I at right now? Down here. There's stuff off to the left. Shrine Street Station.
I needed to find the answer on the plot board. Okay, what are you talking about, Alan? I don't see anything on here. This new plot beat would carry me deeper into the story. How? Like, which one? I had to be at the scene, to see and understand it, in order to change it. Okay, Alan, I think you're just literally directing me in the wrong location. Okay, I feel like I'm just stuck now. Yeah, I'm literally stuck in a loop. What am I supposed to be doing here? I mean, I am experimenting. Nothing is happening. There's only two options I have right now. And neither of them are doing anything. should work this out on a plot board. There's nothing to do on the plot board, Alan. You're not physically at any of the locations that require that, so you're going to tell me, oh, I can't do that there. I mean, there's no way to get on the other side. Yeah, okay. At least I'm out of there. Yeah, it doesn't, there was literally nothing to do in there. I don't understand this. Night Springs Avenue? Oh, God. feeling we're going to be getting a lot of these enough to max everything out. Leave me alone. Okay. So across that... Okay, first of all, there's a question mark there to the right. And there's also a pathway that's going to get us over there. I should look at the plot board. Keep the story moving. Honestly, Alan, I think you're kind of just lying to me at this point.
maybe change something on the other side here. Let's see if we can walk up the other side of this um, subway car. Is there a way to get over there? No. At least I got that, but I still can't figure out how to get over there. Hmm. And I'm not seeing anything change. Let's go down here and see if I find anything. Story. And the echoing hall had a story to tell. There we go. This is where I needed to be. But I feel like by going here, I'm missing out on this and that and that. At this point, I really don't care. I'm lost in the I had a new scene to use, a new setting. Let's try each of these one by one. literally came down here to listen to a sermon of Alan's work. The cultists were close now. A dark presence rising from the depths. The writer, not of the last shadow cast third eye, project the night is your time when you're gone. changed. That's going to change anything over there. Can I go up the stairs here, though? No, I can't. I'd say pineapple, dude. Just give me some updates, not bro. Because, yeah, I'm literally in. Can't find a way to the other side there. Like, 
personally, I think that the murder cult makes the most sense here. But I'm not seeing anything. Actually, no, maybe not. Oh, jeez, there. Thank you, Reaper. Yeah, I didn't see the freaking echo above everything. I did not even notice that. something here that made him run scared. Whether the summoning ritual had been a bona fide supernatural event or the mass psychosis of stark raving lunatics, it didn't change the facts. The cult was messing with things no one should mess with. The ritual was a vital part of the story, the key to reaching the murder site. The new story beat fit the story perfectly. This was dark, but the story had to be dark. Oh, Lord, Mr. Scratch. That's what Zane mentioned about Scratch. Honestly, this might not even be Scratch as the doppelganger. It might be the, uh, the twisted Zane as the doppelganger. Because he has a wake's face, remember? They just made Alan Wake into a Dark Souls game. Once you get the uh, dodge patterns down, it's a lot easier. Hold on, let's go in here first. Yeah, let's go all the way through so we can get that secret and then we'll head back. That's not going to let me out, though. That's the most nerve-wracking things about these, is you don't know when they're going to get you when they're not. Oh, God. Damn it. None of that. Shoot. Shoot. Missed entirely. Alright, we're good. We're good. 
Yeah, I'm only down to one battery, which is not good, but we made it to the final shortcut back to the main part of the game. I should look at the plot board to figure out a way forward. Okay. We're back into here. So this one we already did get. It's just uh, bugged out. Oh my god, give it to me. Nom 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 nom. We have flashbacks. Um, question. Does all of our resources disappear between chapters like they did in the main game? I'm just wondering if I need to hold on to all of this. Because technically, I do have some flashbangs, which will really be helpful. Even down to zero batteries. Yeah, we're getting close to being done here. You don't think so? Okay, so I shouldn't just blow them at the end of every chapter. Okay, now that we're back here, though, let's go back to that corner and add in the ritual site. Uh, I've never really watched Battlestar Galactica, so I'm going to say Star Trek, personally, just because i that's all I know. My writing was affecting reality. The torchbearer is painted the tree there. The tree of knowledge. The tree of life with its roots reaching down to hell. <laughs> it could have been a Christmas tree for all the good it did him. Yaksimix Chegdrasil, yep. Torchbearers were all about that. Okay. Interesting. Oh dear. I, I think I broke it! Fuck! 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 Um, Alan, you can run faster than this. You're literally at like a light jog. And that's giving you. That's giving you nice. Ah, make it up, make it up, make it up. Make it to the light, make it to the light, get to the light, get to the light. Go, 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 go. On the plus side, he doesn't run out of stamina, but on the negative side, he doesn't run. <laughs> it was gone. He doesn't run at all now. The tunnel was open now. Oh god! He doesn't run out of stamina because he has none. That's exactly it. Um. Okay, so I'm not supposed to do that. I couldn't hear the dark presence. It was gone. The tunnel was open now. I could get through. Okay. This thread fit the scene. Can I get through now? No, I cannot. That's still not going to let me through. Crap. Jeebus, yeah, right, Raging? Okay, so it seems like really the only... So the summoning ritual is the only way to open up the tunnel here. There's no way to get there. Has to be the ritual, maybe. 
Let's try out the other ones, just in case. There's other ways to do this. I couldn't add a new element from here. I'd have to go to the scene. Damn it. Oh, maybe I just need to run towards it? Oh, I thought I was running. I thought it was coming from there and I was running away from it. I guess I. It was behind me. Yes, because rocks stop the dark, the dark presence. presence. I had seen it before. I remembered now. Was always out there, hunting me. <laughs> I, I'm with you on that run. The only reason he was able to run in the original game is because he had a crap ton of coffee. Now he hasn't had no coffee for 13 years. <laughs> so he can't run whatsoever. Is this where he exits out into the overlap? Point of the story. I had found the murder site. Somehow the victim's heart was the key. The writer of the first word. Hold on. It's easier to just read it this way. The writer of the first word, not the writer of the last, with the terror of the light and the shadows cast. The third eye now open to project the night. This is the moment to write. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you're gone. This is a Thomas Zane poem right here. This is nothing to do with Alan. Especially with the last line right there. Why is this... Hmm. Okay, the writer of the first word, not the writer of the last, with the terror of the light and the shadows cast. The third eye now open, so pineal gland. That's also going to be that chakra to project the night. This is the moment to write. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet when you're gone. Yeah, it's definitely about Scratch, because that's the final line of it. I didn't realize that was part of one of his poems, though. His name is Mr. Scratch. Your friends will meet him when you're gone. Something had shifted. I felt an overwhelming closeness to home. Here we go. An FBI agent? Who are you? What is this? Who are you? She can hear me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. Help me to get you. This is Alan Wake. I'm trapped here. The dark place. Under Cauldron Lake. Mount Cauldron Lake. Who are you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me! Please, help me! I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside Parliament Tower, where I had lived with Alice. It was out there. Waiting for me. Jesus, okay.
Wait, is this the... Wait, what do you mean, Draco? Like, are we... But you don't see me anywhere. I'm right in front of you, I'm right here. No, this is the end of chapter four. I mean, that's why they're showing this at the end. What are you looking at? Is it your face on a pane of glass? Are you saying we're almost done with the game already? I thought there was 20 chapters. Oh, oh, I was like, sorry, you confused the crap out of me. Weirdly enough, the most important thing I found in this entire episode is the conversation with Breaker. That still is gonna be... That's still 100% would be. And if that's a spoiler, shame on you guys for saying that, for telling me that that's the last area of the game. Because no, I don't want to know any of that stuff. I'm very clear about that. But yeah, I think everything with Breaker is the most important part of this. Interesting. I'm going to have a lot to think about. Okay, so uh, tomorrow, we are going to be going tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing three times tomorrow like I did today, because honestly, I'm very worn out. You guys could probably tell uh, throughout most of this one that I was just exhausted. Um, so I might do it at maybe noon tomorrow and then one in the afternoon. Maybe 11 or 12. I'm not sure yet. I'll figure it out. Anyways, guys, I am going to pass out. I'm going to try to get some sleep tonight, because last night I, I'm probably running on four hours of sleep right now, which is not the best in the world. Uh, insomnia. All right, guys. I am I'm done. Love you all. I'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy, take it easy.